Hey guys, happy Monday and welcome to day eight or nine of no shit November. Um, not really sure, I always forget what day it is, so I know it's Monday at least. There's winning right there. Um, so today I wanted to talk about something. Um, I just shared a photo and I was thinking about, um, I'm wearing a crop top right now and I was thinking about in, in the photo that I shared, I was talking about how, um, how when, you know, I grew up as a tomboy and, you know, was not healthy by any means, was not comfortable in my body by any means. I grew up in South Florida, it was hot as shit, and I was like, I would wear baggy clothes, I would wear Jenkos and rollerblade and like sweat my ass off, uh, and I did not wear like tank tops or anything that showed my body. Um, and I was thinking about how um, in my, I started, uh, you know, my health journey when I was 18. I decided I wanted to lose weight. I wanted to, like, be a woman and be confident in my clothes and in my skin. So um, I quit smoking cigarettes and, well, I started running and that helped me quit smoking cigarettes big time. Uh, and I'm kind of like an all or nothing kind of person. I quit cold turkey after smoking for like six years. Um, I started when I was 12 and I quit at 18. So imagine that. So yeah, uh, as soon as I was eight, I turned 18, I decided I wanted to change my life. And um, I was obsessed with the scale. I was obsessed with being a size zero. Once I lost weight, um, but I was like eating shitty food. It wasn't like healthy. It was marked and labeled as healthy and that's a big, and you know, that's a big reason why I, you know, really want to, I talk about whole foods a lot and nutrition because I was somebody who lost weight unhealthy and I was working out two hours a day in the gym and obsessing over my body. I was never comfortable in my body. Even when I was a size zero, I was not comfortable in my body. And it was all my mindset and it was all, you know, I wasn't growing as a human. I wasn't learning to love myself. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't diversifying my fitness. I was getting bored. I was stuck in a rut. Um, I started gaining weight again and um, that's when I found home fitness. And I started working out at home and I started seeing results right away. I started learning about nutrition. I started, you know, putting, you know, dense superfoods in my body with Shakeology. Uh, I surrounded myself with other people who were positive and going after the same kind of goals as I was and who were, you know, making their health and fitness a priority. And that was something that really uh, changed. It was a big shift for me because I was like doing all this stuff alone all the time before. I was um, planning, I remember like sitting in my, um, at my desk in my corporate job, planning my meal plans and planning my exercises at the gym every single day. And it took up so much of my time. Um, I was like, I don't know, I was wasting my time doing that shit. And now I don't have to worry about it. I work out 30 minutes a day and I get results and I'm, I'm more confident in my body than I've ever been in my life. And it's not tied to the scale. It's not tied to the size of my pants. I wear like mostly workout pants all the time. So I don't even know what size I wear unless I, sometimes I find a pair of jeans that I have. I have like three pairs. Um, most of them are too big, but I wear them anyway. <laughs> um, so I don't really like focus on the size of my pants. I don't focus on the number on the scale. Uh, I, you know, focus on how I feel. I focus on my clothes, how I fit in my clothes. I and being confident like being confident in my skin is something that is the most amazing gift that I've ever gotten because I can I feel like I can do so much more with my life because I'm confident with who I am I'm confident inside of my own skin and you know I know that a lot of us struggle with that and I've been there my entire life and it hasn't been until just last year um, after I did a lot of you know meditation and I was already like a year, I was already almost a year into doing personal development before I started um, feeling comfortable with myself. So, you know, it takes time and you have to be willing for it to take time. You have to be willing to, um, you know, go through that growing pains and go through the weirdness and awkwardness of figuring yourself out and, um, you know, loving who you are. So, 
um, yeah, I kind of just wanted to share that because it was a really cool thing um, that I realized today that I, uh, I'm wearing a crop top when it's freezing outside, but I feel comfortable. And Derek's making food, sorry. Um, and so I really, you know, I want to pay that forward to other people because, and that's why I share about this stuff all the time because I know that other people struggle with it and I have a solution, at least what has worked for me and lots of my, uh, lots of my friends and lots of other people that I work with every single day um, have gained so much confidence from you know working out at home and being a part of the community and people uplifting each other and women who love on each other because you know if you're a woman you know how it is. Uh, it's not often that you find that loving other woman community uh, it's like hardly ever existent but it's very much real in our world and so I'm really grateful for that and I hope that everybody has an awesome Monday um, and you know I hope that this motivates you to maybe take a second look at what you're doing and maybe toss the scale away and stop focusing on all that other stuff because if you're not loving yourself on the inside um, and in your mind you are not going to feel comfortable no matter what size you are, no matter how much you weigh.